This is the introduction to Topic 3 video. Topic 3 explores the different ways economies can be organized to deal with the economic problem. We will discuss three of these so-called economic systems, but of course in the real world there exist combinations of the three. The economic systems are first the traditional economy, second the command economy, and third the market economy or the capitalist economy. We're going to do topic three in a slightly different way than we did topics one and two. There are two required readings, Haberner's uh, chapter one uh, and R.A. Radford's The Economics of a POW Camp. Neither of these is a textbook, so hopefully you'll find them more interesting to read. Um, both readings are available on the course website under the readings tab, and you just need to use the password. Some of the other references may also be helpful to you but read the Halberner article first, or rather chapter one first. Your goal should be to figure out the characteristics of each economic system and also how they compare with one another. As you read, think about the following questions. What does the term resource allocation mean exactly? How are resources allocated in a traditional, a command, and a market economy? Who owns the means of production in each of these three types of economic systems? Hint, what does private enterprise mean? And finally, how is income distributed in each? What determines who gets what share of the economic pie? A modern example of a command economy is the economic system called socialism. Note that what we call communism is a socialist economic system with a particular type of totalitarian political system grafted onto it. It's quite common to combine a socialist economic system with a democratic political system. But if we're focusing on the economic system, it's socialism. On Sunday night, we'll begin a two-day discussion of the Radford article on the class discussion page. I will pose some initial questions, and you should try to answer them, as well as comment on other answers posted. Because the discussion is short, for an online discussion, that is. You should plan on checking on the discussion and posting contributions more than once a day. Wednesday, we will review for the first midterm exam, which will be on Friday, one week from today, October 25th. And the magic color is yellow.